Uh, here. There you go. You seem so upbeat. Uh, how do you manage to stay so upbeat, uh, given the fact that your wife's been missing for three months? Oh, it's just, you know, you do what you can. You know, I'm not going to go hide in the corner and cry about it. You know, it's just like I personally uh, grieve over it. Uh, uh, but I do that all on my own. So... Uh, how, how has this affected your children? Oh, it's, uh, they're pretty upset, but I guess that's not what we were going to talk about today. We're going to talk about this No, no, I meant the dating uh, part of it all. <laughs> How has this idea of daddy well, dating affected them? I, I, it's my understanding from you that, that they believe their mom is on a ski vacation. Is that right? No, the, the younger ones uh, believe she's on a vacation, but the older two boys, they, uh, they know she's missing and she ran off. I, I wonder, as the investigation has gone forward, how difficult has it been for your family? Oh, pretty hard. The kids are, you know, the little ones are missing their mom, that type of thing. We went through her birthday and the holidays, and that was kind of rough for everybody. And, and so. the, the fact that you're a suspect in her disappearance, how, how difficult has that been, and how have you handled that with your family? Oh, every day it's a new day. You know, you wake up, it's, it's I can only antiquate it to, like, uh, uh, having cancer, or being told you got cancer, you go to bed and with it on your mind, you wake up with your mind and you're just looking for that mi miracle cure to make it all go away. The, the neighbors said that they saw you carrying out a, a big blue barrel that would be big again, enough. Again, to... again, again, Shepard, that's not what we agreed to talk about. You know, oh, I, I didn't, I didn't agree to any, any restrictions the, uh, on conversation. I would never do that. I, I just, I just wonder what. Okay, well then, then I guess I got to walk away. Have a good day, Mr. Shepard. It was nice talking to you. Well, he'll talk about the Unhook dating me, game, mm -hmm. but he won't talk about the fact that the neighbors me. that the neighbors say they saw him with a large 55-gallon blue barrel, uh, carrying it out with someone else, uh, and shortly after his wife went missing, okay, have a good day, guys. Yeah. his fourth wife went missing, his third wife died in a dry bathtub, and now authorities have exhumed her body. And it is now widely believed that her, his third wife may also have been murdered. Drew Peterson, a suspect in the disappearance of his fourth wife, who was in, in fun, as he put it, considering a dating game, though he's still married to the mother of his children. Drew Peterson, the former Bolingbroke police sergeant, now suspected in the disappearance of his wife and going back to the friendly confines of his home as neighbors and friends of Stacy Peterson wonder where in the world she is. We'll continue.